Welcome to How Fix It. In this video, we'll show you how to replace back housing on iPhone 11. What tools you will need to disassemble the iPhone 11? Screwdriver set, plastic mediator, section cup for removing display, tweezers, plastic opening tool, adhesive tape for restore water protection, and adhesive silicone tape for the battery. In the description under the video, you will find links where to buy all these tools and replacement parts for iPhone 11. To replace the back housing on iPhone 11, you need to completely disassemble the iPhone. And this is not an easy process, but it will be more difficult to assemble it. So I recommend using magnetic mat in the process of disassembling and laying out all screws and parts step by step. Turn off the iPhone, then take a 0.8mm pintalop screwdriver and remove two screws near charging port. Take any header and heat the surface of display for 1 or 2 minutes. The required temperature for heating is 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. Almost any header will be enough to detach the display from the case. Set the section cup on the bottom of display. Then take a thin plastic mediator and begin to disconnect the display from the case. If you have warmed the surface of the display well enough, opening process will be not difficult. In any case, you can additionally warm the surface of the display. You can fix the section cup in the middle of display and use it as support for the display model. The case of iPhone 11 opens like a book, opening the display to the right. First, you need to disconnect the battery cable, but in iPhone 11 it's located under the metal panel, which holds three screws and one of screws is hard to reach. It is under the cable of the display model. So, in order not to break the display cable, first remove five screws on the large panel, then disconnect three cables of display. When the battery connected to the mainboard, it's not critical to disconnect the display model, because the most important is to disconnect the battery when you connect in any model. And after removing the display, remove three screws on the second metal panel and disconnect the battery cable. Remove 5 screws and remove the antenna. Next, remove another 2 screws on the speaker. Now take a header and hit the black tape between the speaker and the taptic engine, so it will be easier to peel off the tape without damage. Next remove two more screws and remove the metal bracket. Take a stand of 1.5 mm screwdriver and unscrew two screws. In the iPhone 11 the speaker is glued to the case, and if you want to keep the adhesive tape, take a header and hit the surface, then detach the speaker from the case. That's all, the speaker removed and at the same time we save this adhesive tape on the iPhone case.
Now you need to remove six adhesive tapes from under the battery. Take tweezers and peel off the tape from the battery. Now slowly pull the tape away from the battery. Repeat the same with the remaining of the silicone tapes. If one of tape is turned, apply a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol under the battery and the tape will peel off the case. Also be careful with the sharp ends of the tweezers when peeling off the tape. When you peeling off the last tape, hold the battery. Let's begin to remove the rear camera, unscrew two screws and remove the metal bracket. Now disconnect two cables from the mainboard and the rear camera can be removed from the iPhone case. Next, turn off two more cables and remove the Face ID model. Remove the SIM card tray. Remove two screws with Philips one screwdriver and one screw with 1.5 standoff screwdriver. Remove the metal panel and disconnect the cable from SIM card reader. Next, disconnect two cables, then use a standoff 1.5 mm screwdriver, unscrew two more screws and disconnect three more cables from mainboard under the second metal panel. Now the motherboard doesn't hold anything and it can be removed from the iPhone. Remove two screws, unstick the cable and turn off one more screw. Hit the surface with a hydra and unstick the bracket from the case. Remove the last two screws on the inside of the case and now you can begin to remove the cable with the charging port. Take a header, warm the surface of the cable and you can begin peeling off the cable from the case.
Now it remains to peel and off the charging port from the iPhone case. The remaining upper cables you can hear it by header and detach from the case like lower cable. The wireless charging model glued to the case along the edge. If it not pre-installed on new replaceable case, you can also hit with a header and reinstall it. The buttons on the case can also be removed and replaced if you change to the back housing of the same color or there are no buttons on your back housing, but this is all depends on your case individual. I recommend buying a back housing uh, on which all cables and buttons already pre-installed, because you will save a lot of time and reduce the risk of unsuccessful assembly. In the description under the video I left a link where to buy a new back housing for iPhone 11. The assembly process requires attention. Be especially careful with screws you tighten. Repeat rest throughout the video.
The battery should be glued to the iPhone case. You can use silicone adhesive tape, the same one that were removed from under the battery, or double side tape.
well the iPhone 11 assembled and now you can connect the display and check how the smartphone works. To test iPhone just connect three display cables and then battery cable. Turn the display over and turn on iPhone. Check all function of iPhone and if everything works fine, you can begin to the final stage of iPhone 11 assembly with restoration of water protection. Remove the old silicone tape from the case. Using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swab, you can wipe the case. This is not necessary, but definitely will not be superfluous. Take a waterproof adhesive tape. Before applying adhesive tape, make sure that you stick in on the right position. And the tape restore protection for water and dust on your iPhone 11. Press on the tape around the edge. That need for sticking to the back housing. Now begin to the installation of the display. Connect three cables of the display model to the mainboard and only after connect the battery. Install small metal panel and fasten three screws. One of the screws is located very close to the display cable, so fasten it very carefully. Now install the second panel and fasten 5 screws. Turn the display over and press it round. Fast and last two screws near charging port and you can turn on iPhone 11. So I hope this video was useful for you and I helped restore your iPhone 11. See you soon on how to fix it.